includes the caught on camera moment that is raising questions about race and privilege on a college campus in the American South. Fraternity brothers seen on video engaging in a racist chant. And tonight there are fast moving developments, two expulsions, and possibly more on the way. But there are also people coming to the defense of this embattled frat. And ABC's Ryan Owens is on campus. The video is just nine seconds long. Its consequences could last a lifetime. Tonight, two frat brothers from Sigma Alpha Epsilon have been expelled from the University of Oklahoma after leading a chant that they'd rather black people be lynched than join their fraternity. The video went viral Sunday night, igniting a firestorm of outrage at OU and far beyond. The problem is nobody's pointing out what's going on. Today, University of Oklahoma President David Boren sent this expulsion letter to two students involved in the video, saying they had created a hostile educational environment for others. Tonight, one of the chant leaders is identified as Parker Rice of Dallas. Rice's friends tell us he's already home in Texas and will not be coming back to OU. I know Parker, and I know he's, he's not a racist. He's really not. He compromised his, his morality for the liking of his friends. In a statement, Rice says that alcohol was a factor in his actions and that he is deeply sorry for what he did. He mentions he was taught the offensive song, but not by whom. Another student in the video identified by his parents as Levi Pettit. They write, he made a horrible mistake. We know his heart and he's not a racist. The two expulsions are just the latest fallout from this video. Today, moving trucks littering the front of the SAE fraternity house, the university banning the group from campus and giving members until midnight to get out. Are you embarrassed? Extremely. Can I say anything else? We don't have any room for racists and bigots at this university. I'd be glad for that. This scandal began when someone anonymously texted the video to members of a black students group. Outraged, they spread it across social media. This is not anything that happened overnight. This is something that's been rehearsed. This is something that is well known. Uh, everybody on that bus was singing this chant proudly and confidently. Social media lit up with posts about the incident. At one point, the Twitter hashtag SAE hates me was trending nationwide. How could this be my house? William Bruce James, an OU alum and one of only two black members of this SAE chapter ever, says the punishment fits the crime. Ironically, he was once in charge of the fraternity songs. Never heard that song before the video. Uh, I never heard anything like that song. You said this hit you personally. I think one reason is because at least technically these were your brothers. I don't consider them my brothers. I don't think that they were ever deserving of the letters because those letters mean something. Still, some on campus are jumping to SAE's defense, including the fraternity chef who finds himself out of a job after 14 years. I think it's outrageous. Another supporter, the frat's house mother, who appeared on local news Monday night. Bobby, had you heard that song before? Never heard it. Never heard it. I, I thought they made it up or something on the bus. I, I never heard that song. Hours later, this video emerged of her, posted two years earlier. <laughs> She's repeatedly using the N-word while singing along to a rap song that used the same slur. Today, she issued a statement saying she's not a racist, but completely understands how the video must appear in the context of the events. SAE is one of the largest fraternities in the country, with more than 200 chapters. They say they shut down their University of Oklahoma chapter within hours of learning about the offensive video, even before the group was banned from campus. Our reaction uh, was the same as the people across the country. I mean, this is unacceptable, racist, and very offensive and inappropriate um, footage. And it, it is sad that anybody in Sigma Alpha Epsilon would have thought this is something that they should do or a way they should behave because that is not what this organization is about. The scandal comes at a sensitive time for Greek life at American universities Misogyny has got to go. with sexual assault on campus in the national spotlight. The new film The Hunting Ground actually mentions SAE by name. SAE, sexual assault expected. When asked by Time Magazine about the documentary, SAE told them, we believe anyone who commits sexual assault or other illegal acts 
banks should be held accountable and face punishment that is appropriate for those actions. This is not the first time SAE has grappled with accusations of racism. This Confederate flag got them in hot water at a Georgia university, but SAE has plenty of company. The University of Alabama was home to a major controversy in 2013 when several sororities came under fire for allegedly refusing to admit black women. While we will not tell any group who they must pledge, the University of Alabama will not tolerate discrimination of any kind. What happened here is unfortunately endemic in Greek fraternity life. Fraternities and sororities operate along principles of exclusivity. They're looking for kids, they're looking for other students, usually who are like them. And that exclusivity often expresses itself on racist terms. The house will be closed, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, it won't be back, at least not while I'm president of the university. Still, some are questioning if expelling the students might be a step too far. While a private university can basically operate, you know, in the way that it wants to, a public university is restricted by the First Amendment. I think that what happened to these kids, expelling them, is a very problematic thing. You know, the racism that they expressed was raw, ugly, as ugly as it gets. But those factors don't necessarily make it, you know, illegal. Not on us, I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Norman, Oklahoma. So was expelling those frat brothers a fair punishment? Head to our Nightline Facebook page and tell us what you think.